OpenAI has introduced Sora. Now this is an AI model to create realistic videos from text instruction. So it's a text to video AI model. And they have just introduced this. So they have examples of videos which have been generated over here. Uh, so this model can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. So here are some example videos which have been generated. So here is the prompt, which is a stylish woman walks down on a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots. Right. So based on this particular prompt, this is the video which has been generated. So they are saying all the videos on this page were generated directly by Asora without modification. So these are some hand-picked examples I would say over here of videos which have been generated from text prompts. So is this model already available? No, it's not available for um, general use. It is currently only available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risks. They are also granting access to a number of visual artists, designers and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance this model to be most helpful for creative professionals. So there are some wonderful examples or I would say cherry picked examples over here, right, of videos which have been generated from uh, text prompts. So this is a movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30 year old space man wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35 uh, mm film. So based on this prompt, this is actually the trailer which has been generated. Okay, this is the video which has been generated. Now this model also has weaknesses. They have, uh, you know, put it over here. Uh, so the weaknesses are something like uh, this model. Uh, if I go to the weakness, um, it struggles with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterward the cookie may not have a bite mark. So still it struggles with say real world understanding, simulating the physics of a complex scene, uh, the you know uh, specific instance of cause and effect. So they have some interesting examples over here. Right. So this first example is about, uh, you know, the prompt is step printing scene of a person running cinematic film shot in 35 mm. So Sora sometimes creates physically implausible motion. This is actually implausible, right? This kind of a motion on a treadmill. So that is what it is showing over here, right? And if you go to the next uh, example over here, five gray wolf uh, pups frolicking and chasing each other around a remote gravel road surrounded by grass right the pups run so here the weakness which is happening is spontaneously if you see if you look at this video carefully you'll see spontaneously these pups are you know um, coming into the video from thin air right so that's not something which is possible okay spontaneous appearance of uh, animals or people right um, there is another example over here which talks about a baseball a basketball through hoop and then explodes so an example of inaccurate physical modeling and an unnatural object morphing. Okay. So they have some more examples like this over here, which talks about the weakness of these models. Another weakness I found out over here is that if you look at the hands over here, right? You know, it's kind of the motions which are happening with the hand fingers. They are not natural, right? If you look at the hands again over here, uh, this particular part, right? The motion is not really natural it's not model the hands properly i think ai still has a problem with hands so simulating complex interaction between objects and multiple characters is often challenging the model resulting in humorous generations okay so there are a lot of uh, some of the weakness of these models uh, this particular model so uh, over here so that's what they talk about over here they also have a technical report Maybe we can quickly look into the technical report on what is this particular, uh, you know, it's actually a diffusion transformer. Okay. Uh, very high level details are given over here. They have not gone into some details of these models. Okay. So they are using something called as a diffusion transformer over here. 
So this Sora is a diffusion model which given input noisy patches and conditioning information like text prompts, it is trained to predict the original clean patches. Okay, that is the idea over here. So this is an exciting development from OpenAI. Uh, Google has its own uh, text to video models. Um, none of them are really releasing these models currently uh, from uh, say either Google or this thing. You just have, I think, Runway, which has um, video um, text to video models right uh, so this is an interesting development um, at some point of time i believe that this will be released to general public via an api right after they take care of all the safety and other uh, issues i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link to this particular uh, blog as well as the technical report in the description of the video see you in another video